Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the first episode of the third season of Gochumon Wa Usagi Deska. And this show, you could say I'm a bit, of a bit of a fan of it. You could, you could certainly say that. So you could, so you could imagine how happy I was when I first found out that we would be getting a third season of it. We've gotten like a couple of things here and there, like an OVA and a, you know, dear my sister kind of thing. And now we have an actual, actual new season. So I'm pretty eager to get into that. So I'm just gonna. Well, I guess I do have to technically have to t tell you how I do things format-wise before I get into it. So, I do not show the anime footage itself in the video. I will show you subtitles from the show down there and a timer next to it so you can get your own copy of the show and just kind of get it all synced up with my reaction. So, I keep my channel and I can still make videos like this. So, that's how that works. Now, with that, with that out of the way, let's get into it and see about our Usagi goodness. So, three, two, one, play. And everything should be rolling. Yeah, wow. I forgot how beautiful this place was. And there's the Usagi's. Well, Usagi Tachi, if you want to go full weeb. It's nice to see you. You're not who I thought I would see first, but it is nice to see you. I imagine, yeah, we're going to go to our favorite establishment pretty soon. Have a good time there. Maybe drink some beverages. Yeah, Rapid House, that was the place I was talking about. Looks like we've arrived. Now serving chilled coffee. Okay, you have my attention. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you, Cocoa. Uh, no, I think it was just a gimmicky thing they were doing. You had the right place. Didn't you recognize the people that work there? I guess not. Well, we're not going to get much business business if we keep scaring off customers. Yeah, that is what feels the most right. But you look great at the other thing. <laughs> well, you know. She just looks warm in general. Wow. <laughs> it might. I'm worth a try. And there's our other characters. She knows friends. Well, let's order it and find out. Wow. <laughs> now it just looks like a one of those butler cafes or whatever. This all this 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 feels wrong. Let's go back, let's go back. Well, I would have hoped so. Yeah, this is this is what's right. Oh. I sure. Let's just just make something nice. <laughs> She's so ganky, even though this show just started. I almost expected an opening to start playing there. Oh, <laughs> are you okay? She doesn't even have a rabbit on her head. How could she be so hot? I agree, they should, we should go do that. <laughs> yeah, I can do it too. <laughs> yeah, she still looks kind of, yeah. <laughs> wow. But yeah, that's the kind of offer you don't turn your back on. <laughs> yeah, you seem plenty happy to me. Are you trying to invite her to go on top of you? Well, that might be a bit too much weight. I'll tag in, don't worry, I can, I'm sure I can handle them both. 
Maybe not all three of you, but at least those two. Oh, what's happening over there? Just hardcore shopping? <laughs> the music. You'll get to her eventually. Any any day now. Oh, there we go. And it's gotta. No, I guess it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Maybe we should break out the gun. <laughs> wow, the dramaticness. Oh, and Shoto. Kind of thought that was Coco for a second, but no, Shoto. Shoto makes her appearance. This is an important mission. Don't let us down, Shoto. Our poor girl can, like, def can definitely be relied on. <laughs> and there's, yeah, I remember her name, uh, Chia. <laughs> you did good. Good job, Shoto. I knew you could do it. Yeah, it's a wonderful project. You want, you want in on this action? Yeah. <laughs> How could you just say that right in front of her? That's just, that's brutal. Uh. Yeah. This will be bad for Chia now. Yeah, fabric? Yeah. What will we'll end up making in the end? Yeah, I like it. Well, blue is better than purple. Oh no, what a travesty. <laughs> Maybe we could just get red and white and mix them together? That is very sparkly. <laughs> well, yes. Already hand holding. Good to see they're as close as ever. That sun does look quite bright and hot. I mean, as it usually is. The summer heat, it's it's rough. Who knew it would be so hard so hard to get a good shade of pink? What are we yeah, what is that? Uh concept art for the uniform? I thought it looked a little bit weird. It looks even weirder up close. Not how I would describe it exactly, but it's something. Eyes are a little bit off, but Better than I can draw, so I can't say too much. Classic Goku. <laughs> Welcome, come on. <laughs> what are you wearing? Why did you become a phantom thief? So we're not going to chase a phantom thief. Just carrying Chino. Not very specific, but... Are we searching for something? Well, take your time. <laughs> Magic set. I... <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking something similar. Oh, pink. We found pink. I knew we'd find it somewhere. 
<laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, we're sort of sisters, so it's her brother too. That... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you plan on it. Are you happy about that, Cheeto? I'll be right back. I am back. That is a long time. But what if we need that stuff later, like we did today? <laughs> uh, I dead doubt it. I got that. Who would possibly want a talking rabbit that doesn't look like a rabbit? Do we have our magic set? <laughs> oh my god, what even is that? Like a squad of rabbit soldiers? <laughs> yeah, we really are doing this flea market thing, I guess. They look, yeah, they look kind of discouraged. You just need a, need a Kanban Musume to walk around and advertise this, this, your little shop. <laughs> there we go, we got a customer. It's gotta be patient and have faith. We're on a roll. Yeah, so you should, you know, make the most of it. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Oh, Chia, what she, what she buying? Fancy meeting you here. What's that? <laughs> well, of course, Shadow's, Shadow's here. I mean, that's no surprise. <laughs> That's okay. I am not even remotely surprised. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get moving. Uh. Oof! Whoa! <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah, that was... It was impressive. <laughs> It's not a competition. Mendoxai Kanoja. Yeah, I mean, if it works, it works. We could try it. Bananas. So many bananas. Yeah, never, you should never leave home without your hottie son. You never know when you might need it. <laughs> uh, I know, right? I 
I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yeah, that's... That's what I expected, honestly. But rabbits, don't people like rabbits? Oh, there's... <laughs> there they are. Now we're packing. That's the idea. I guess that's a word for it. The one pupil just looking up. You're a kind soul. Shadow looking pretty cute there, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing sales techniques here. Let's get the job done, that's for sure. Okay, how's this gonna go? I don't know if Reza's quite as good. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe if we maybe if we help her find her mother, the mother will buy some stuff. Please stop crying, child. We have like a, a doll or something to give her. And you could hold you could hold my grandfather. It's so weird seeing someone shorter than she know. Like can I can I touch it? Is it gonna bite me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tab. I that's <laughs> Oh! Ow! I... Did, did that work? <laughs> I don't, don't think that's true. You don't want to look like that guy. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I don't hear anything, but I guess it's making the laughing motions. <laughs> but the point, what matters is it works to cheer her up. That'll be 300 yen, please. Don't worry, I'll bill your mother for it later. Hey, yeah, we found her! That'll be 350 yen. I'm glad to see she's happy. <laughs> uh, finally, somebody younger than you. Next time we see it, it's in a trash can. Broken into ten pieces. All sticky. Yeah, good job, everyone. Okay, what are you talking? Bananas? Oh. <laughs> what kind of a present is a doorknob? <laughs> Hopefully he's got them on a good deal. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think that's a yes. She wants one. <laughs> you don't know that. Just try it on. Oh, wow. Yeah, you look great like that. What were you talking about, Chino? Like you was like you were born to wear it. <laughs> uh, you can still give her something. 
Well, it gave away at least one product, so... <laughs> Ouch. Well, why would they? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, as long as she enjoys it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have Cocoa's magic show. I am focusing. I hope somebody's taking notes. <laughs> well, you, I'm sure you'll be fine. Saw that coming. Still looks painful, though. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what are our expectations? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Usually you'd put a bunny out of the hat, especially in this show. Well, that's quite pretty. So I guess that was a success. And I think we have our... Oh, wow. I, I kind of look like a kiss, so I've got to be honest. Like, that was pretty damn close if it wasn't. I'm gonna go back to look at that later. But uh, yeah, I assume this is the opening. Well, the opening or the ED? I'm gonna assume opening. My god, that little Kokoa was adorable. I had missed Kokoa a lot, honestly. She's always just so happy and cheerful. Makes me feel better about just existence. Oh yeah, the other rabbit. Even the sister. Man, those two are close. And Stinger? What am I looking at? Oh. Okay. Looks great. There's nothing wrong with that. That was a while ago. <laughs> no, I think it looks great. <laughs> I imagine she'll outgrow it in 10 years, but who knows? Yeah? What's up? You want a hug? <laughs> Aw. Same here. <laughs> and we end off with that gorgeous Chino smile. Not, not one. Let's say childhood friend stole a heart. I gotta, I gotta go back to that as well. I think from here it's just all that rolling credits. Yeah. Okay. That was the first episode of the third season of Gochubon wa Usagi Deska. and this was, I'd say, a pretty good first episode for a new season. I have, I am, I, I am not remotely disappointed. This was pretty much you know, a lot of what I like about the show. Just 
here on full display. We got to see all of our characters, even the ones that work don't work at the rabbit house, you know, like Ch Ch Chia and Shoto and you know, all the all those people. Uh so, you know, they're still all around and well. That's always good. And this episode, I mean, what did really happen? Well, I mean, the two big things were the, the uniform. We wanted to get a new summer uniform. We tried different things. They didn't quite work out, so I guess in the end, they decided to just make their own, which meant getting supplies for it. So that was part of the episode, just getting the supplies. And we had a lot of trouble finding the pink fabric for for, for uh, Cocoa. And luckily, we did find it eventually, just like in a storage room somewhere. And it was the perfect shade of pink, and we were really picky about that, too. So good thing we found the right one. And... That somehow led us to just go into this flea market sort of thing and people just kind of selling all sorts of random junk like doorknobs for instance you know uh, i wonder if the sales pitch for that was hey doorknobs get your doorknobs here they make excellent presents for your friends maybe that was the pitch maybe that's why cocoa grabs them i don't know but of course shadow of course shadow was here <laughs> that really should not surprise anyone I mean, there's a lot of things that I, th I feel like I said that weren't very surprising, but it's not really like a, a, a criticism or anything, you know? You don't go to this show for the amazing plot twist. You go to it for the, the warmth, the happiness, and I got plenty of that here, so I was rather content, I would say. So, yeah, we did our best selling things. We got our highest end in the end, which apparently is invaluable when you're selling things in such an environment. We ran into a little bit of trouble though, like the one girl lost her mother, we had to help her with that, which also cost us at least one product, because I don't think we actually sold that, I think we just literally gave it to her for nothing, which is just terrible, terrible business practices, unless a bunch of people see you do it, and then, you know, buy stuff from you to support you, because you're so kind, and that's the only case when it's not a bad business decision, that's what we call a PR, you know, so, but I don't think that happens, so it costs us money, but it's fine, it's not a big deal. It just the businessman in my soul just did was did not approve of it. That's all I'm saying. But she was happy. That's really what matters. And Kokwa, she kept that stupid magic set because of course she did. And she's having fun with it. I mean, she was kind of struggling a little bit to do the magic tricks, but she's having a good time. So I don't think anybody would complain too much, really. So. It's just nice to have the show back, honestly. Not too much to say about it because it is, of course, a very chill, slice of life kind of show. But just, I love seeing our characters. Kokua, like I said, always such a happy, free spirit that just makes you feel better whenever you're around her. You know, always enjoying life. Very much loves Chino a lot, and Chino loves her a lot, and we got plenty of stuff that made that clear in the episode. You know, blushing, some smiling here and there from various characters. And, uh, yeah, the opening, I will well, I guess before I said talk about the opening, we finally we got to see the uniform as well, right? So that's great. Although that was technically after the opening, I think. And it definitely was the opening, like I'm almost positive that was not the ED. So. Yeah, it was right about here, the opening. I wonder what the bloom refers to. What is like a specific character that's going to be blooming this season? Maybe Chino. That'd make the most sense. Yeah, right about here. Did I miss the scene? I could have swore that was at the beginning of it. I guess I just must have passed it somehow. Oh well, I can always go back to it later. But, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all I really have to say on the episode. I mean, I did want to go at least to go back to that title, right? That it showed for the next episode. It should be right after this, this uh, bartender segment. Yeah, the case of the childhood friend stolen heart. That's an interesting title. Like, who is a childhood friend in this question? In this, in this, I mean, Shadow and Chia were our childhood friends, right? So we could be talking about one of them, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. That's certainly interesting, though. 
I do like their comment about how nobody really likes the stupid bartender tender segments. I never really thought about it, but yeah, like I don't think anybody like looks forward to those segments. I mean, maybe one or two people out there, but I'm certainly not one of them. I feel like most people come to the show for the cute Moab girls, not the 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 father and the old man rabbit interactions. Probably, probably not. But yeah, lots of cute stuff happens in the episode. Some piggyback rides. Some some cocoa posing here and there, like that one shot. Talking about her planning on having curbs or whatever she said. That one fabric was just so sparkly and bright. It stands up probably a little bit too much. I think what we had in the end for our for summer uniforms were great. They were perfect. I would I would go as far as to say. Gotta love Shadow's desperate dive to save the teacups from falling in Chia's reaction to it. So yeah, just a fun episode. I'm really I was I'm happy with it. I'm just really glad to have this show back. I've really missed these characters, like, like a lot. Like, as far as, you know, Slice of Life shows go, this is one of my favorites for sure. And that's mostly because of how much I love the characters. Chino and Kokua are a couple of my favorites for sure. But Shadow's great, Chia's great. Like, there's just so many great characters in this show. There's really not a bad one among them, among the main cast, I don't think. So, yeah, it just works really well as a cute Slice of Life show. And I really look forward to watching more. So, hopefully you do that with me. So... Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.